Hi guys, I'm Evie. I'm Stu, and today I'm going to tell you about why they wouldn't let us on the plane to the Galapagos. Yeah, we were in Quito and the guy from the hostel said, get to the airport three hours before. <laughs> like Three hours? That's a long, long time. Um, yeah. But we did really well, we did listen to him and we got there two and a half hours before. Yeah. So we got there and then everyone that goes to Galapagos needs to go to an extra uh, checking document and bags. So when we went there in this place that the name is too big to say here, but... It's like in Quito, it's a little glass uh, counter on the right hand side where you basically get all, all this extra Galapagos only process. Yeah. Um, so we got there, there's about 30 people in the queue, we've got two and a half hours. Happy days. That's okay, yeah, that's yeah. okay. So we're waiting and we're waiting and the first person was stood at the counter for 15 minutes. And we're thinking, hmm. Maybe it's is... just this person. Maybe it's going to be okay next one. Also slow. The next oh. person was also slow. This was clearly a very, very slow process. Yeah. So um, we realized you also needed to do this bag check, which you just basically took your bags to uh, be scanned a little separate desk just next to this one uh, yeah. because you're not allowed to take certain things to Galapagos like seeds. Camping gear, no can't camp in Galapagos, seeds, fresh food, drones, drones, anything. So the, um, so basically I stood in the queue. You I went bags. to get there, yeah. And then we got a little, they tagged the bags, they bring it back and then, okay, we're All back good. in the queue. So waiting. we're waiting, waiting, waiting and eventually we get to the queue with 50 minutes left. So oh my God. We're thinking, oh my God, we've got 50 minutes. We're still, we're kind of panicking still, but we're thinking, well, at least we're at the front of the queue. At least we are here. 50 minutes, okay, you know, we should be okay. We can maybe make it, you know, we've got to do the whole airport checking process after this, but yeah. we can do this, we can do this. Okay, right, so what do we need to give him? Okay, here we go. And then, yeah, when we got there, the guy said, right, passports, we gave to him, PCR test in 96 hours before, yes, here and then uh, he asked about the hotel that he really would stay because you he, you need to be in a place that is authorized by the tourism government and right here and he should check there right and he said where is your salvo conduto salvo what what you're talking about i don't mean oh oh you should mention that this is all in spanish <laughs> yeah. i don't speak any spanish Evie speaks Portuguese. Portuguese, yeah, broken Spanish. And then I start to say, right, I don't know even what is salvo conduto is. What is this? And then he explained to me that the hotel or hostel should send to you before, you know, it's a document that you are going to be there. And then I said, but they haven't mentioned any, anything. I don't know, they didn't send anything. And then he said, right, you should come. And, and I said, can I contact the hotel then? And he said, yes, but yeah. So basically he was nice and he let us wait um, just next to the counter. Um, so while we tried to call this guy. Now this was at 7 a.m. in on the mainland, but Galapagos is an hour behind. That means that it was 6, 6 a.m. in the Galapagos. No way that this guy would answer, no. We called more than 10 times and then eventually he answered the phone. Yeah, so he answered. When he answered the phone, we just give it to the guy from the cabin that was on the side, like, speak to him. Because that time I couldn't even talk in Portuguese. I was so nervous, you know, because the time he was going. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, this guy didn't answer the phone. We are going to miss the flight. And there was nothing that we could do. So basically, this whole process, by the time this had finished, so we, we, we gave the guy all the documents, he did all the paperwork, and then we kind of throwing him the money, which was like yeah. the $20 to we needed to pay. We're going, okay, grab the bags. Let's run to the normal airport check-in now. Yeah. So yeah, we got there to the normal airport check-in, running across the airport. Um, and then basically they, um, there was four people on the counters so and only one family in front of us. So we thought, okay, should be really quick. We are here now. Again, also slow. Um, cool. So the, we did that, we got through, and that was another sort of 10 minutes. So we had like 20 minutes. And behind you was, so there was loads of people like shouting because it's chaotic, like they realized they wouldn't it, get to the plane. It was absolute chaos behind us. People were just shouting at this desk because they realized that they weren't gonna get on the plane. There's quite a lot of people still there that got there after us. Um, so they're kind of shouting in the background and loads of screaming, unhappy people. Yeah. Um, so we ran through. Um, we've got 20 minutes 
and basically we ran to get on the plane and when we were getting on we had to go through the normal uh, baggage yeah, scan exactly. everything all this process and we got to the when plane. you got to do the, to the the plane it was last call yeah. right and then you should show them all the documents that you have showed before because they still needed to see like the passport is normal uh, but this uh, uh, the document tra tra traffic yeah control, they check the documents you just got control. Yeah. yeah yeah so yeah they just they just let us on the plane so we kind of we feel relief. like when we got in the plane, we feel like we did. Oh, I can't did believe it. you did it. We did it just. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of people that didn't make it. So yeah. I'd be really interested to know if, if you guys have been through this experience and anybody didn't get on the plane or had a similar experience, um, you know, do let us know in the description. Um, yeah, and obviously we'll, we'll write more on gohobo.net just to full details just so you've got all it there. But hopefully this helps yeah. you not have the same problems as us. Yeah. And uh, obviously don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And uh, thank you very much. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.